reality, John and his wife bought two properties in Seton Carew, enormous big Victorian Gothic houses, originally built by a Victorian industrialist for his daughters. Our set build is in Elstree, we're in the George Lucas stage, and we struggle to get a stage big enough to put the set, so we've effectively built three floors of two houses. The starting point, of course, was the real houses in terms of the proportion and the scale, but we've upscaled everything. The sets are much larger than the real properties. Rich and I talked a lot at the beginning about a colour palette. John's bed sit is cold totally. Anne's house, even though it's very tired, I think has a warmth to it. The slightly kitsch element of the dressing and the colours, quirky spaces and a sort of quite composed composition that was important to us. I don't think I've ever embraced clashing pattern as much as I have on this. Part of the device for the connecting doors, and they are coffin shaped as you can see, was it's almost like a sort of metaphor for the two worlds. So we've created number three that we're in now, which is Anne's and John's house. So that was a sort of doer upper. And in reality, number four, the bedstead house, that was his money spinner. So we wanted a visual contrast between the dark, grim, damp number four and the potential, albeit slightly dated, and they're inheriting someone else's taste, of number three. So the doors allow great sight lines between the two sets, but also just they're sort of underlying. It's like going through the back of the wardrobe in Narnia. So as a device, it's given us, you know, a heightened reality, but it is based on the truth. These sort of sets are great fun to do. That's been a bit of a departure for me and for us as an art department. We've really enjoyed it. Well, I guess most people know that John and Anne Darwin's story, after they left Seton Carew in the northeast of England, they went to Panama with their ill-gotten insurance claim. And so here we are in a beautiful romantic fish shack on the beach in Panama. Except we're not in Panama, it's Portugal. The reason we chose Portugal was because amazing crews, amazing locations, and we felt that there was enough here that with a little help from our amazing production designer, Claire Kenny, we could create Caribbean here in Portugal.